problem of examination is uh, not making movements to come to your diagnosis, is it not? And then once you diagnose how much it affects the function and then how much um, we can improve that function, is it not? So my examination is slightly different to a, a very quick, easy way to come to your diagnosis first, okay? Rather than starting with the shoulder like that, like that, everything at the end patient will ask what is the diagnosis, you have to tell like that. So you have to come to your diagnosis first, is it not? So the aim is to get your diagnosis quickly and then most of the things 99% will be the same as you've been, but a more sleeker and quicker way, okay? So that's what I have just prepared for you last night actually and so okay. So history, I'm not going into depth of everything. Any particular examination we will go through later, first is how to make a pattern, okay? First thing, when you see a patient, what's the aim? To get into a diagnosis. So ask the patient to point out the anatomy of problem. First, what you know, can you point out what is that one? AC joint pathology. That one, biceps tendinitis. Like that, subacromial impingement of frozen shoulder. Like that, a hip pathology. That means trochanteric bursitis. That means SA joint problem. Is it not? So first, to point out the anatomy of problem. Then your question should be pertaining to that anatomy rather than just vaguely throwing questions. Once you know the anatomy, what you know, is, what you want to know is how it happened. To know how it has happened is the pathology, is it not? Injury or non-injury, you have to ask those questions. So you know what is the anatomy, you know how it happened, then you should know how much it affects the quality of life at daytime and nighttime, which is the physiology, okay? And then what did they do for that? Did they take any treatment for it? There is a pharmacology, is it not? So, so the easy way to remember is what they did themselves, what the GP did, what the physios did, what the occupational therapist did, and what the surgeon did. Okay, maybe injections, everything. So you would not, you would not miss anything. Okay, and then the last is the medical part. Before subjecting to treatment, you should know whether they are fit enough or any diabetes for an injection or anything, all those things. Okay, so that is the history bit. Clear with this? Okay, so the, the way you remember will be a sequence. Otherwise, you'll forget it, is it not? So, it's so common, look, feel, move, look, feel, move, you get bored, but eventually you get lost, is it not? So I made this very easy, simple, three S, okay? You're looking at three, which is skeleton, soft tissue, and skin, okay? In look, and the feel is reversed, because you start with warmth, then soft tissue, and the skeleton. Clear with that? So you just reverse that order. So, when you look, for example, um, you want to stand up for me, please, yeah, okay. So, if you like that, so first thing is you don't look like that, is it not? So you always go stand for, first, it is like any first time you see anybody, okay? So you don't go very close, okay? So, so first is skeleton is three steps, okay, three steps. So you look like, okay, so there is no obvious deformity, okay, that means I don't see any skeletal abnormality. No soft tissue swelling or wasting and you come closer then, okay, skin over is normal, okay? Okay, and uh, so, which, uh, which joint did I examine? Is it neck or shoulder or hip or ankle? Which joint did I knee? It is the same for everything. It is the same for everything, okay? So, easy concept, okay? There is no obvious deformity, swelling or wasting, skin over is normal. Can you turn to the side, please? No obvious deformity, swelling, or wasting, skin over is normal. Can you turn to the back, please? No obvious deformity, swelling, or wasting, skin over is normal. So it's the same for all the joints. Clear? Okay. So, but for the back, can you turn back? You start from the back and end in the front. That is the only difference. Okay. No obvious deformity, swelling, or wasting, skin over is normal. Can you turn to the side? Okay. Again, you tell that. Again, turn. That's the only difference. Okay. Now, looking for feel. Please take a seat. Okay, so this is, look, and you reverse this thing in, you start with warmth, okay, and then soft tissue for any tendinitis, tendinosis, or any, if it is a ruptured tendon or anything, feel, and then the skeleton, which is the joint line tenderness and everything, okay. So why do you look? The look is for the sequelae, okay, what is the outcome of a problem, and feel is to elicit the signs, clear? This is the concept for all the joints, okay, and then, Move, so easy. You, you have been since one year walking or two year walking, you know every joint in what planes it moves. Is it not? You have to move in all directions possible. And you are mature enough to move all the joints in all directions. Clear? 
okay. All you have to do is flexion extension which you don't need to tell in exam, you just bend and straighten all the joints in all possible planes. All questions active, passive, active, passive, it is passive to see stiffness but you start with active because it may be painful, tell the patient can you move and then you further try to improve on it, okay, active, passive and then comes the special test. So look, feel, move, finished with all the joint examination and special test which is clear, okay. Now, let us go for the, um, generally special test, if it is upper limb, you do functions, is it not? You do for functions if it is upper limb. For example, it may be a shoulder, typically at the end of your diagnosis, you want functional assessment to see how much to improve. So it's a typically a scratch test, is it not? Back, reaching the, for grooming and for dressing, okay, for shoulder. Maybe at the end you can do also this and that, okay. And for hand, it's a, whether they are able to pick up a coin or imagine a key is there, pick up a key and then side pinch and then, and then you open the door hook, is it not? Then you grasp a bottle. So something like that, you imagine a kind of sequence so that you remember is a function. But for lower limb, you look for stability, for special test, is it not? So Trendelenburg, whether it's drops or not, okay? Whereas the knee, front to back, stability is by what? ACL, anterior cruciate, is it not? Side to side stability, but the collaterals, okay? You can be louder, okay? Your voice will be recorded, actually, okay? And then you want to look whether there is something caught between the joint, which is the meniscus. So all you do is, Twist it, is it not? So, ex twist and extend, twist and extend. That's all. In internal and external rotation, you will get a pain because it gets pinched, okay? And then the petal stability. So, basically, that is a special test for general. Now, we will go to individual joints. Clear with that? 